Brothers and sisters, elders from North Central Zone, I have been mandated to congratulate Al Haji Muhammadu Buhari for his re election for second tenure as President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigerians have shown clearly their trust in Muhammad Buhari as a person, their trust in Muhammad Buhari as a leader, and is the commitment of the entire Nigerians to respect him forever and ever. Despite the fact that we know this second term is the last tenure for him under the provision of our constitution. And that is why we hope and pray that the right thing be done in getting all political equations properly in shape so that Nigerians will rejoice for electing General Muhammadu Buhari for a second term. We are proud that even international communities who came to observe the elections were satisfied and gave commendation that the last elections were done under free and fair atmosphere. We also congratulate all other politicians that emerged victorious in their various political aspirations. And I wish to call on those who lost that this is the joy of democracy. People win, others lose. But in most cases, those who lose, they show sense of maturity by congratulating those who succeeded in the polls. We hope that gesture would assist in maintaining the right kind of atmosphere for democracy in Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, it is in the tradition of party democracy to appropriate the spoils of office when elections are contested and won for the purpose of running an inclusive government with a spread that caters for divergent interests even within the winning party and the system. This is a stage that requires meticulous planning to ensure that the party, the APC, in forming a government does not flounder and thereby squander its goodwill. This the party leadership must do with a high sense of responsibility to ensure fairness, equity, justice, and a deliberate reward for loyalty.
quite recently. The media is awash with hues and cries from some segments of the country following insinuations that the speaker, position of speaker of the Ninth House of Representatives is being conceded to the Southwest by the leadership of our great party. This fear is of concern to all of us in North Central Zone and indeed our colleagues all over Nigeria who are very much in the picture of the kind of contribution that the North Central Zone had granted during the past elections. For us in the North Central Zone, our diverse nature and peaceful disposition had always predisposed us to be shortchanged in the manipulation of power sharing. However, we are assuring our leaders that sometimes we become silent because of the respect built in our minds for our leaders and the respect for peaceful coexistence amongst Nigerians. Not because we are cowards. Not because we are unaware of our rights. We, in this zone, have molded our diversity into a strong quilt that has strengthened us with the capacity to engage and interrogate the exonious manipulation of power, leadership, and patronage among the Committee of Nations to bring into sharp focus the understanding of our place as a bridge in the Nigerian project. And that is why when time comes such as this, we are always prepared to tell our stories to the hearing of everybody because we believe that people will understand us. Even if some mistakes were made in the past, quickly and hurriedly, these mistakes will be corrected would be adjusted. Let me narrate a little bit of a story for the interest of everybody in this country. In the just concluded 2019 presidential election, the North Central Zone contributed two million 465,599 votes to the 15,191,847 to the total votes cast for our dear president, General Muhammad Buhari GCA representing 16.22% of the total votes as compared 
to the 2 million 36,450 being contribution that came from the southwest zone of Nigeria. And all of us are aware and we endorse and we respect and we obey the fact that the southwest had continued to enjoy political patronage of the capacity of a vice president under this government right from 2015. We never cried out. As a result of this, we want to appeal to our leaders that fairness should be shown with the kind of contribution offered by North Central Zone at the elections. We deserve the fourth position assigned by Protocol of Nigeria in the leadership setting of this country. And I want to tell everybody that we have somebody of our own who has gradually grown and presently he has been re-elected the fourth time to the House of Representatives. And the leadership of the present House in appreciating his performance, his loyalty, his respect, and his efforts had gone all the way even to grant him the position of Deputy Majority Leader as at present. This gentleman is Honorable Ahmed Idris Wasi Damaji. We are aware. We know. We have another son in North Central Zone. Honorable Omar Bago from Niger State, who has indicated interest in the speakership. But I know Omar Bago understanding that we in the North Central Zone are disciplined people, disciplined leaders, and we teach discipline to our children. I am sure Omar Bago will happily support his senior brother, his senior man in the House of Reps today, so that when this allocation is granted to us, naturally, without any option, Honorable Ahmed Idris Wasi will take it up because we are sure he can do the job very well. We just want to recall the situation that in the aftermath of the 2015 general elections, our zone was ignored in the appropriation of the choice of office when the Senate presidency was zoned to northeast and the speakership zoned to the southwest, in addition to the position of vice president, which was zoned to southwest. Unfortunately, there was a revolt. 
the ensuing rebellion upset the apple cut by producing the current Senate president in the name of Bukola Saraki. But the North Central Zone people did not share that kind of rebellion. We were not in support of that. Happily enough, during the recent elections, our brothers and sisters in Kwara State have openly come to show testimony of our rejection of the behavior of Bukola to disrupt the program of our dear president and the party. It is in this vein that I wish to call upon the leadership of the party in a bid to avoid any unnecessary frustration or distress from any quarters to do everything possible to do the right thing. Once the right thing is done, then all the time we are in peace. Hence, our call for the leadership to urgently suspend the rumor of zoning speakership to Southwest, but zoning speakership to North Central Zone. Because with the way the zone had been performing politically and otherwise, I think we deserve some due recognition. And I'm sure Mr. President himself will listen to our appeal. I'm sure the national chairman of the party would listen to our appeal and respect our stand in the political actions of this country right from 2015 to 2019. Because anybody interested at looking at the table would see that our votes have been increasing for Buhari. So appreciation for us should also be increasing, not diverted to some other places. I think that would not be fair. We are assured, we wish to assure Mr. President that our candidate, Honorable Ahmed Idris, is the rightful candidate this time around. And we want the Almighty Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala, to assist Mr. President to succeed this time around and to appeal to all political opponents to suspend all court actions so that they don't dis divert the attention of Mr. President, allow him to do the job he has planned to do for Nigeria. Because Idris will soon come to take the fourth position to assist him in a loyal, a very loyal manner that he has never seen before. So as the job would be successfully completed.